In this video, we're going to create animations using gsap.from and gsap.from2. So the way th we left things off was that this animation animated Fred to an X of 400, a Y of 200, and a scale of 3, all right? So in the to tween, we specify the values that we're animating to. Well, there's also a from tween, and that's going to allow us to specify the values that we're going to be tweening from. All right, so let's just get rid of this code here. We'll comment it out. And I just want to show you that Fred's natural state is being in the top left-hand corner here. And what we're going to do is change this gsap.2 to a gsap.from. And now when I run this animation, he's going to start out big over here, animate from those values to his natural state. So let's just hit run, and we're going to see Fred shrink down a little bit, all right? So that's a from tween. A from to tween lets you set the starting and ending values. So let's change this from to from to, and I'm going to add another vars object here. These are going to be my from vars, or the starting values that I'm going to specify. So we know that Fred starts out up here at an x0, y0. Um, what I'm going to do is set his x value to 700, his y value to 400, and we'll set, you know what, that's going to be about it. I'm going to take away the scale, just so this is really simple, and we have uh, matching property pairs, if you will. x and y in the from, x and y in the to. So let's run, and you're going to see that Fred starts over here in the lower right and moves to the center-ish of an x400, y200. So we've told him where to begin and where to end. Now, what I want to show you next is that we can have mismatching values, or properties, I should say, in the start and end. So let's put scale to be 3 here, so he's going to grow. And this is going to work just fine. So there's no scale in the from vars, but there is a scale in the to vars. So let's run. And you're going to see now that he starts really big. I'm sorry, he starts small and he animates to a scale of three. All right? Makes sense because we're saying specifically the ending scale. Now, if we put opacity zero in here in the from vars and don't put it in the to vars, this is something you might get hung up on, and that's why I'm showing you. Check it out. You're going to see that wah, 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 you never see Fred again. What happened to him? Well, we said, hey, this tween is going to start out by setting his opacity to zero, but we never said what we're going to animate it to, okay? In this case, the engine doesn't assume that you want to animate to an opacity of one, so you need to specify that. So we're going to say opacity one comma, hit run, and then now we're going to start really small and transparent and scale up. And that's all happening with one animation. 